Select a tiger here. Uh, and I'm a zombie. Eritrea. Shaun of the Dead. Uh. Okay, so Shaun of the Dead is directed by Edgar Wright. The film is written by Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright. The film stars Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, as well as Bill Nye. And the film is about Simon Pegg, who plays the character of Shaun, who has a best friend that isn't exactly a really good friend. He has he's trying to solve his problem with his girlfriend because basically Ed, Nick Frost's character, is getting in the way of their relationship. He has to reconcile with his mother and all that. So life isn't exactly the best when it comes to the character of Sean until when he mysteriously discovers the town is filled with the citizens being these zombies. And so when things get out of control, it's up to Sean, Ed, and the rest of the crew to go ahead and try to go to the pub so they can be safe there, but also try to not get eaten by these zombies and possibly even do some zombie shooting along the way. So before I review Shaun of the Dead, my guest star Justin watches movies is going to be reviewing Shaun of the Dead. So Justin... Take it away, buddy. Hey everybody, my name is Justin Watches Movies. I'm sure you guys have seen me here before. And I'm here today on 22 Tiger Zoo's channel to discuss Shaun of the Dead. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for inviting me to discuss Shaun of the Dead. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with everybody on this channel and my channel if you ever watch it. I did not like Shaun of the Dead when I first saw it. I watched it when it was released in 2004, and I was 7th grade, about 12 years old, and I just couldn't get into it. I did not like it at all. I knew that the hype was real for the movie, everybody liked it, and I was just like, what is wrong with you guys? Years down the road, when The World's End was released, I went and saw that, and I absolutely loved it, and I went back and watched Top Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, and fell in love with both of them. Now I'm here today to tell you guys that I really like Shaun of the Dead. It is a hilarious film that is so mature, it knows exactly what it wants to be. It is a comedy film at its core mixed with horror and blood and gore and an overall zombie film. This film has some brilliant comedic moments to it. And they're not in your face, over the top comedic moments where they're trying to force us to laugh. They're very subtle moments where you have to be watching and listening very carefully for these moments. There are some scenes where they, you know, scratch some time out for it to be funny, but then there are some times where it's just naturally funny, and it kind of catches us off guard. This movie reminds me a lot of Night of the Living Dead, but with comedy. It's a movie where there are zombies, and they're not the fastest people ever, and they are in a location, they're kind of secluded, but then they're also moving about. And I think it took a lot from that and just flipped it on its head. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are tremendous in this movie. They have such great chemistry. They work great together and it was it was great. So Shaun of the Dead I thought was a hilarious movie when it didn't mean to be and when it wanted to be it was funny. It was subtle at times and I loved the directing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Shaun of the Dead an A. This is a great movie and I'm happy that 22 Tiger Dude asked me to review this with him because it gave me a chance to watch it again. So this is Just Watch the Movies, 22 Tiger Dude has it, and I have it, and that is Tiger Power! Thank you so much Justin for reviewing Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead is a really entertaining, very well written film in my opinion. This is the start of the Cornetto trilogy, the second film being Hot Fuzz, the third installment being The World's End. This is the start of the Cornetto trilogy and this was one hell of a way to start it. Shaun of the Dead is an entertaining ride. From the moments the whole zombie a part of the story starts. What I mean by that is once Sean and Ed start to avoid the zombies, from that point in the film all the way to the end, it becomes a non-stop, entertaining, very funny, and absolutely brilliant ride. The British humor in this film is fantastic. It's so well written, and that's so thanks to um, Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright, who both helm the script for Shaun of the Dead and it's thanks to their brilliance and it's thanks to the way they handle these characters, the conflicts that these characters have to face. 
it's a very well written movie and that's a huge credit to both Simon and Edgar and Edgar Wright's direction absolutely fits so well it feels definitely unique from other comedy films. His direction is more snappy, more quick. There are these cool zoom in shots that Edgar Wright does in this film that I really liked, like when it would go foo, 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 foo. It was really impressive, and that's what makes Edgar Wright a very impressive director. Some of his films can be a miss for me, and some of them can be a hit. But no matter if he makes a film that's a hit or a miss, in my opinion, his direction I truly do admire. And it 100% works with Shaun of the Dead and having that more snappy kind of direction. And I thought the cast actually worked very well with each other. Simon Pegg as the main character of Shaun, I thought he was really great. He was very funny. He was very energetic. He looked like he was having a lot of fun. And I also do think Nick Frost, although he plays a character I didn't really like, I thought he was very good at playing this very douchebaggy character, douchebaggy if that's even a word. His character ain't exactly the most likable, but he did a very good job portraying him. I thought Bill Nye as Sean's stepfather, he was really good in this film, and honestly the rest of the cast did a really good job. Everyone looked like they were having a lot of fun, and it's all thanks to this great script that was delivered to them, and just the material that you see on the screen with the whole zombies that made it very entertaining. The zombie moments were very well presented. When they get to, when they get down to facing the zombies, it actually becomes violent, as you can expect with these movies. The, and I mean, it's zombies after all. Of course, you're going to have violence, but the violence absolutely works when it comes to those zombie moments. And although this film does have a lot of humor to it, there's some dramatic stuff in the third act of the movie I actually was very surprised by and I wasn't expecting. And I thought it actually did work because whereas with some of these comedies when they try to be all dramatic in the third act, it can feel very out of place and it wouldn't really fit. However, when it came to being more serious around the third act, it actually did fit for the overall storytelling and it never felt very out of place. The more serious dramatic stuff in Shaun of the Dead was executed so well and I really do admire that about this film when it gets a little bit serious, but it could still work and it still doesn't take away the overall fun because there are a lot of zombie moments and the way they have to pretend to even be zombies to kind of blend in with the zombies too when they're out in the city, that was very funny as well. There's all kinds of funny things that happen in Shaun of the Dead to make it very entertaining. But it's not just the funny moments, it's also the characters that make it very entertaining. And it's also the zombies themselves. I mean, the zombies are also what do make this film. And like I said, it's just thanks to Simon and Edgar for making a script that is so well realized. And also, it has very great cinematography too. That's something I have to say about this film. The cinematography looks very nice, very bright. You can see what's going on. It just looks so beautiful to watch, honestly. And that's very great because when you're in a zombie world, you want to be immersed into that. And I think the cinematography definitely does help you get immersed into this zombie world. Now, honestly, the only problems I do have with Shaun of the Dead is that I didn't really get a full grasp of the first 20 minutes, to be perfectly honest. I thought the first 20 minutes was a little bit slow paced. It kind of took a little bit to get going, in my opinion. Not just that, but I also thought Nick Frost's character for the first act was honestly kind of annoying me. Like, his character is not likable throughout most of the movie, but at least once the moment... But at least once Sean and Ed start to go out and avoid these zombies, at least Nick Frost's character Ed is actually more tolerable. And that's because he was actually starting to make me laugh. But before all of that, I wasn't really liking his character. And he wasn't really making me laugh either, if I have to be perfectly honest. And not just Ed, but I also even got a little bit annoyed with the character of David. I thought David was honestly rather annoying in my opinion. Um, just a little bit of course 
And then the last problem I did have with the film is that although a lot of the humor did work, once in a while the humor didn't always work in my opinion, but that's really it when it comes to Shaun of the Dead. Overall, I think it's a great zombie film. It's definitely a great film to watch around a time like Halloween. But even if it wasn't Halloween, it's still a great film to watch in general. It's very entertaining. It has plenty of your quick moments because of Edgar Wright directing this. And Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright did a brilliant job of writing this film. The cast does a really great job. The zombie moments are entertaining. You pretty much, you pretty much get everything you want in a zombie movie. Shaun the Dead definitely delivers being this great and memorable zombie movie. And because of that, I'm going to give it three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Shaun of the Dead. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And also, before I do go, I want to thank my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, for coming here to review Shaun of the Dead with me. If you guys want to check out his channel, which I do highly recommend, I will leave a link in the description down below. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.